And 27 First News this morning has team coverage of the dangerous heat we are tracking for this weekend with those heat indices reaching more than 100 degrees. Storm Team 27 meteorologist Matt Jones now is live in Boardman with what exactly that means and more importantly how it's going to feel for us. Matt. Yeah, good morning. We've been talking about it for a while now over the last week that we are going to see a heat wave heading into this weekend, but we use the word heat index or heat indices. But what is what does that mean? You add the heat, which is the air temperature, but you also take the humidity. Now the humidity is the key factor here. The higher the dew points, the higher humidity. It means more moisture is in the atmosphere. It also means that the moisture can attract that heat and hold it in a lot better. So think of it against your skin. The more heat or excuse me, the more molecules as far as the water against your skin, the hotter it's going to feel, especially heading into this weekend. So to do the math right now, it's about 61 degrees outside with 100% humidity. It only feels around 61, 62 degrees, but heading into Sunday, we're going to see highs into the mid 90s and you add humidity anywhere from 50 to 60% is what we're going to expect for Sunday, even for most of the weekend. And you could get the heat index or what it's going to feel like outside on your skin around 100 to 105 degrees. But how is that going to affect you? We don't take into consideration that this is not only going to make us feel warmer, but it's also going to warm up our cars. After 30 minutes in the sun, your air temperature inside your car could heat up to 130 degrees. And if it's left out there for a while, it could reach 175 degrees. Also to consider this weekend, watch out for your pets. That asphalt and those sidewalks are going to get extremely warm. But as Alexis Walters was already talking about, we are seeing watches and warnings across the entire region. She's going to break that down. Also, we are tracking some storms in our seven day forecast. We'll have all those details coming up in the next hour. But for now, live in Boardman, I'm meteorologist Matt Jones for 27 First News This Morning.